What is that? Oh hell no! Nah. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Chocolate Edition and yeah, I did some changes as you can see, starting from the house. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host BerryBite, they are a very reputable and very good host and let's begin. As you can see, I moved the villagers downstairs. I made this whole area for them and this bed section, which actually they don't want to cooperate for some reason. At night they get stuck on this top floor, so I had to invent this uh, stairway down here, so instead of getting stuck around here, for whatever reason, they go just down there, because they can get out fine on the steps, but they don't know how to get down, for whatever reason. I also did some landscaping outside, removed two houses, and yeah, made the land a bit more flat because I have plans for that. I actually don't have any plans, but you know, it's never uh, bad to have a lot of flat land, so that that. Oh, and after six episodes, I did some reading on this mod pack, and turns out sugars actually make you go hungry often. So the sugars category is the one we don't probably want to fill up because I'm confused on that, like, is it a positive or a negative? Like, there's totally no reason to, you know, use the sugars if it's a negative thing. Maybe that's why we had, like, speed, crazy speed, like we don't have now. And one more thing. Yep, this bad boy. I traded the armor with the villagers well for the books and such no give me my sword back please thank you and now we have full diamond armor with protection 4 protection 2 blast protection 3 and protection 4 respiration and feather falling and all that good things so yeah time to finally upgrade our old armor to our new armor voila yeah, we will lose the uh, speed buff from the mutant skeleton leggings, but I'll take more protection any day over a just bit of speed. Oh, and one huge tragedy had tra tra tragedy, tragedy had ah, whatever, tragedy happened. So the mending villager somehow got lost. Like I was saving emeralds to you know get mending on our tools because they are something interesting, but would be good to have. But he just vanished. And why did you put out particles? Okay, whatever. So, yeah. Looks like we are not having mending after all. Which is a bad because I had to use 7 diamonds on diamond leggings. But yeah, that turns out that, you know, since the mending villager is no longer here, we really don't have use of this castle. I mean, there are villagers and stuff. But I don't have any use for them. And I found out this horse is like crazy fast and has crazy jump height. Look at this. In the process he hurts himself. So maybe for the future we can remember where he is and use him for exploring. But yeah, the goal for today's episode is to try and find some bigger dungeon that we can go and explore. So yeah, that that. I'm gonna... Cut back to wherever we find something interesting that is not a village or a new dungeon we haven't yet seen or, you know, stuff that makes videos interesting. So let's go. This is a weird area. It's like someone excavated the sand and left whatever this is here. But, you know, I'm playing a single player world, so that's kind of impossible. Unless there are some other players here somehow. And by the looks of it, our only way forward is, yeah, with boat. So let's get on the boat and see what's on the other side of this world. So I researched what the deed of ownership does, and it's basically useless for us because it's... Well, if you want to pass out ownership of your pet onto some other player, so yeah, that's useless to us. Now... This is like the worst color tag I ever see. Curse of infamy, blight, afterlife, and immaturity. Okay. Banana slug, what? The hell is that? 
Encounter a banana slug. Not so appetizing. Can I kill him? And I get banana slug slime. And that's actually needed for one of the eyes, so yeah. Amazing. I'm gonna get some more. Well, this is a new structure we didn't yet encounter. Oh, we did encounter. It's a hunter's log. Or hunter's cabin. But I don't know why am I getting achievement for the first time. Maybe I encountered it in my other world. Oh, we got bad omen debuff. That's actually something I liked to get because I wanted to experience a raid. Hopefully we won't die because the raids are crazy in this mod pack. Alright, I forgot I will start a raid as soon as I enter my town, so... Better get prepared for some ass whooping. Uh, we got food and... Shield and let's go. You villagers should go to sleep because I wouldn't like to lose you. And let's see, let's get this action-packed adventure started. And I started it at night, the worst place I could do. Oh. All in all, this Minecraft version, well, this mod pack, adds new mods to the raids. Which we probably won't see, or maybe we will, who knows. Why are you running outside? Go inside, you stupid villager. I mean, that's like suicide. Look at him, look at him. No, you dumbass. Don't run there. Wait, look at him. Come here. Run inside, you dumbo. Okay, more pillagers coming. Are there any new mobs? Yes, there are. You see? What the hell is that? And this guy. Oh no. Hold on. I don't like the fire guy. Because if he can set things on fire, that might not be good. And Creeper, not a good place for you right now. My armor is really not helping my cause. What is that? Oh hell no. Nah. That is not good, but we need to survive. But looks like the mobs are fighting mobs. And I hate witch's poison. It lasts forever. Can we get some food that has a bit more HP regeneration? Come here. Come here you scaredy cat. I need your food. Now that we have food, we can probably go and fight those hay bale villagers. <laughs> they are trying to hide. Hold on. Nourishment and the jump boost. Okay. And where is the creeper? That's the worst place you can be in. Don't explode near my house, please. And how do I hit this guy? Am I crazy? So I'm a bit confused on how to defeat this guy because apparently he should do something rather than just do nothing. So I guess that's that for now. I'm gonna go empty our inventory and get back to him. Oh, hold on, but who the hell is this guy? And there's a witch, two witches hidden, and I just got poisoned. But who is this big guy? Ooh. I need to kill his supports first, before we can proceed with killing him. Come on, witch. You know what? I'm gonna go take and give ourselves a 
supporting hand with this one. You look like you have a full HP. Come with us. We have a fight for you today. Just need to get out of here. Okay, and use our dodge and voila. That's right. And he's dead. He's dead, that's Creeper. And this guy... Did he just kidnap my villager? What the hell? Is that? Can we even survive this? He just deleted the Iron Golem. And if he deleted the Iron Golem... How are we supposed to fight him? Well, I guess we can try fighting him. But we are getting webbed. Woo! What is this? How are we supposed to attack him if we can't get to the guy? Come here. Okay. Good thing I don't fall, take fall damage. What is that? Did he just put out the candy canes outside? Woo! Oh no! Okay, and... What is going on? We are left with you now! And how do we win? Wait, why are you spawning candy canes? Uh, I don't know what is going on. 160 HP. Ooh, he hurts more than the, the guy before him. Wait, you can block my attacks. Not this attack again. Okay, I mean, at least I'm safe at a distance. Woo! We won this battle. Or did we? What is that now? Oh my god, what is going on? Did we win? Did we finally win? No? That's not the last! Oh my god! That's not the last wave! And more horns before me. Look how many... Johnny's or whatever this guy is called. The Vindicators. And the Ravager, no, I hate Ravagers. Okay, 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 I'm, I'm getting wrecked. My armor is not helping. Woo! Oh no, the Vexes are coming, I hate the... Oh hell no. What is going on? What? Please help me. Oh no, how many of you there are. My new armor is getting wrecked. Come here. Oh no, he's riding the thing and he's coming for me. Ooh, no vexes! Please, everything but vexes. Yeah. 
Is it done? Is it finally done? Please tell me it's done. Please tell me it's done. But I'm not sure if it's done. Or if some villager or pillager is stuck somewhere. Oh no, that, 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 that's not what I needed. The last thing is mutant creeper on my ass. Exploding me. And my area around me. And the Ravager somehow spawned from somewhere. Okay, Ravager, help me, help me, please, thank you. Woo, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, I'm, I can't die, I can't die. Okay, I won. Oh, your bed was obstructed, blah, 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 blah. Half of fortunate, eh? Looks like all of our dumb villagers somehow survived. And now, after our armor is already destroyed, amazing, the first episode is, we can open the bag of horrors and the right treasure bag. That, that? And what do you do? I got a bunch of candies running around my base. That explode. Okay, and the raid treasure bag. We got scroll of evoker pangs. Okay. Okay, open the first raid treasure bag. Can shoot basic arrows without consuming ammunition. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. We don't have to carry the arrows. I love that. And seven emeralds. And what do you do? Am I crazy? Or do I need an enemy to test this on? Like the mutant enderman. Or just enderman. I'm still not sure what this do. Okay, we killed the mutant enderman too. And got Eye of Ender. That's actually pretty nice. And my armor can go slowly into retirement. I guess back to iron armor we go. Well, at least we tested it and it knows it works. Oh my god, those guys just fill my inventory with the most random items I could ever thought. And you know how this life goes, my internet, well internet, my power just went out again for no reason, so I don't know if anything got corrupted and what got saved, but hopefully it saved something, I guess. So let's continue with the video. Well, isn't this day just a bundle of joy, so... The power got cut out and the game crashed and yeah. Whoa! And for some reason looks like the game respawned some containers, so that's interesting. This forest is full of pillager outposts by the looks of it. So we don't want to be here, it's boring. What? Who is shooting me? Another pillager? 
Where are you? Oh, there you are. And is that another illusioner? Oh my god. I like how uh, killing his clones doesn't hurt him, but his arrows hurt me. Make it make sense. And more pillagers on the map. Like, why are there so many pillagers? I'm sick of seeing pillager outposts. Yeah, but they allow to see me. I just realized why I am almost dying all the time. I didn't take any armor with me. And another monk place with a village nearby. As you can see on the map. Wow. Hold on. Why is there a pillager spawning inside of this place? The camp spawned like... Those pillagers, I'm sick of them. The camp spawned inside of the Mong mansion. How horrible. And I hear some kind of explosions too. So I guess that's a mutant creeper somewhere near here. Which is not good also. And the blood moon rises. This is just getting better and better today. Now this is a mob I haven't seen yet. I think. Or we did, it's a necromancer. He doesn't look strong. Yeah, that was a weak fight. I was expecting more of, of a boss mob. But we got necromancer's belt, so I guess that's better than what we have. I'm not sure. Because it doesn't stay the armor of values. You know what? It's the end of the episode. You know the drill. Stay awesome and, you know, subscribe if you like the content. And stay awesome and goodbye.